So today I want to show you the setting that Google has added into Google Assistant that will actually let you save your lists to Google Keep. We first need to do this by opening up the Google application. And then we need to go into the settings. So we're going to tap on more and then we're going to tap on settings. And then from here, we're going to tap on Google Assistant. And we're going to go into the Services tab. And there's actually two things here. There's actually a shopping list. And this will actually take you over to Google Shopping, which was previously known as Google Express. However, if we tap on the Notes and Lists option here, and what we're going to see here is a collection of note-taking and list applications that Google has added to Google Assistant so that you can easily integrate into those other options. Now remember, just like we saw here, the shopping list is going to be different than your actual list. So the shopping list is still going to take you to Google Shopping, aka Google Express back in the day. But you can still make your own quote shopping list with a regular list application or a regular note taking application, including Google Keep, any dot do, any list, bring shopping lists. There's actually a way for Google Assistant to not sync this stuff to third party applications. So we just have to select one of these options. Then we need to tap on continue if we want to change. And this warning is going to pop up because, all right, let's say we have used Google Assistant to create a list before and we have saved that list in Google Keep. You can see that if we change to a different application, those lists will not be accessible because when Google Assistant wants to try to look up your lists, it's going to be using one of these other apps. So you would have to recreate those lists in the other app if you were to, if you were to switch. And that's it. That is how to use Google Assistant to save your lists in Google Keep, any.do, any list, or bring shopping lists.